Christmas is coming up fast, and there is an important thing that I want you to keep in mind. This can hold a lot of people back, and this is a sort of sabotage mechanism that a lot of people have that um, they may not realize that they're having, especially really smart people. So what I want you to do is I want you to be aware of this, and please don't fall into this pitfall. We're going to be covering that in this video as well as what you can do instead. Hey there, it's Clay with ModernLove.Life. So what I've noticed after helping people with breakups and relationships for many years now at this point is that this time of year causes people to actually go pretty passive. They are probably thinking on some level that, you know, hey, I don't know what my ex is going to do. I don't know if they're going to reach out. I don't know if they're going to fall in love with me. I don't know if they're going to miss me. I don't know if they're going to want to connect with me. I don't know if they're going to want to spend time with me. I don't know if they're going to want to exchange gifts or something like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do nothing and I'm going to wait for them to make the first move. And based off of how they respond, then I will, you know, do do whatever makes sense at that point. And on one hand, I understand where this is coming from, but on the other hand, this is also not a great success strategy in life. I don't want you to just get in the role of playing passive and then reacting to whatever they do. Of course, you might feel as if that's something that you, you know, want to do because it's playing it safe, you know, you're not sticking your neck out on the line, and you know, if you're listening to a lot of other relationship videos out there and stuff from other people, you might think that the most important thing is to save face and to, you know, not look needy, not look desperate, or something like that. And again, the best way to not look needy and desperate is to not be needy and desperate. That's to say, get your emotions under control. But with that being said, if your emotions are under control and it's not coming from a needy and desperate place, there is absolutely nothing wrong with contacting somebody, casually wishing someone a happy holiday season, um, you know, inviting them to do something, uh, having a conversation with them, or anything like that. I want you to please understand the big difference between all of this. One thing that I can tell you is that all of these successful people that I've worked with who were able to reconcile with their partners and save their relationships were able to do that because they were willing to take an active approach in the whole equation. You know, they weren't just willing to sit back and just let their partner drive the boat. Now, of course, what I'm saying is that, you know, yeah, there's a time and place for taking action. That This isn't to say that, you know, sometimes people need don't need to take a step back. Yes, if you are in a very bad place emotionally and you need to take some time to heal and you need to take some time to get yourself into a good place, by all means, understand what you need to do for your own self-care. Understand what you need to do for your own betterment, for your own well-being, and prioritize that. And if that means, hey, I'm not in a good emotional place to be in contact with my ex right now, that is okay. Take a step back, focus on you, all that sort of stuff. But don't just go into this passive thing where it's like, okay, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm totally ready to contact you. I'm totally ready to have a great interaction, great holiday season with you. But you know what? I, I, I don't want to come across as too needy or too desperate or stick my neck out there or whatever because you know men need the thrill of the chase or you know women only want someone who's you know mysterious and doesn't seem needy or something like that so I'm just gonna sit here and I'm just gonna wait for you to do something oh look it's 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 11 59 are you gonna text me it's 11 59 oh look it just rolled over to midnight you didn't text me wow okay now I can feel cynical and bitter and jaded now I can become one of those red pill people that just thinks that all women are awful or one of those you know jaded cynical women that just thinks that men are horrible or whatever. You know, that's not what I want for you. What I want for you to do is to understand the psychology of what's happening here. The psychology is, is that your ex is going to be very, very, very unlikely to initiate something themselves unless their emotions are very strong for you. Okay, why is that? It's because they don't want to lead you on. They don't want to get in over their heads. They don't want to give you false hope. And for a lot of you out there, your ex is confused about what they want. They're confused about how they want the two of you to fit into each other's lives. They might feel a lot of strong feelings for you, but they don't know what to do about that. And because they don't know what to do about that, they're telling themselves, I'm not going to reach out until I have some time to think this through. I'm not going to reach out until I have a little bit more clarity. And so if they're not reaching out, and if you're not reaching out because you're waiting for them to do something, what's gonna happen? A whole lot of nothing, that's what's gonna happen. And so just be aware that that is a very real risk that you run during this time of year if you are going to play the passive game. 
Again, it's totally fine if you realize for your own well-being, you need to take a step back. But if you are ready, if you are in a good place to interact with them, and you, you know, want to go and invite them out for coffee, or you want to go and invite them out for, you know, whatever, you want to want to call them up and have a phone call or something like that, that is absolutely okay. That does not make you needy. That does not make you desperate. That just means that you're someone who knows what you want, and you're willing to go for it in life. And that is a very attractive quality. Next up, what I want you to do is I want you to watch this video right over here on the holiday expectation effect, how it affects you and how it affects your ex as the two of you go through this holiday season.